I feel that you know there are so many you know strong people in the world, some strong athletes, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just you and yourself. My name is Luca Fanottoli. I've been doing triathlon since I was uh, 16 and it actually came uh, naturally into my life. Basically, my normal day starts at 5, uh, then from 6 to 6.30 swimming uh, at the swimming pool at the University, the University of Stirling. During the day, usually I'm in uni, uni around the library is my second home. And, uh, and then in the afternoon uh, slash evening I um, I ride uh, or run. You know, not everybody you know, is able to, to actually um, to study and train at the same time, so it makes me feel really, you know, um, proud of myself. In one, one part of me was really, you know, um, like convinced, you know, to come here and to study here abroad. But the other one was also thinking, oh my God, you're going to leave home, you're going to leave your family, you're going to leave, basically, you're going to leave your comfort zone. Like a sort of, you know, jump in the, you know, like in the, in the unknown. like three disciplines you know on it and uh, it's not easy you know because usually for a sport it's just one uh, um, one 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 you know one sport to, to cover but this with three sports you know it makes you feel so challenging you know so um, so hard at the beginning you if you think someone is doing try to know you're absolutely crazy but sometimes I really feel that just uh, oh my god this is this is good this is hard you know it's hard to handle and yeah sometimes i really wish that you have i had more time to to spend with, like the other you know people of my age but but yeah at the moment uh, it's uh, it's hard my mom she was actually kind of saying luca this is a great opportunity you know i would love uh, you know to have you here at home but this is a good opportunity for you and your future so this this is basically the train that passes only once so you have to you know you must take it you have to take it you know this is the opportunity from one day to another you find yourself poof alone you know in another country with another language my brother as well my brother is uh, i was you know when i was at home i was you know i was you know staying with him all the time i, I miss that i miss that so much but in a sort of sense, I know that I'm not alone, you know, they're there. 1,925k away, but, you know, in a sort of sense, they, they're always here, yeah, close. 4th of September 2018, it was a Tuesday, I remember. I was cycling, you know, and I was actually thinking, okay, it was a nice day and stuff, and at some point I found myself, like, flying. I went to the hospital and I realized that I had a um, radial, head radial head fracture. So it was a broken elbow and uh, and yeah, just uh, so much disappointment. The end of September uh, should have been uh, uh, basically the end of the season, so the last races uh, of the year. And I was actually quite fit, I was feeling so good. I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be good, you know, this is going to be the final race, that are going to be great. And this happened, so I was so frustrated. And obviously, you know, when you when you're doing everything that you can, you know, every day, and you're thinking about, we're basically fully committed, 100%. Yeah. I just find motivation in you know in myself. It's something that changed my life, and I think it improved it improved definitely because I wouldn't you know I wouldn't be where I am at the moment if I didn't didn't start triathlon.